been fixing to trap a cougar I've seen prowling about. The beast has snapped two of my snares already. From what I've seen, its fur is white, mad as it sounds. Its hide would be worth a fortune to the right person. I have never seen a cougar like that. I would like to help you. I'll follow you then. Stay quiet. Shoot true. must be here for my new friend. I was dumping a load and he went straight in. Lucky I wasn't in there. Very. What are you thinking, Miriam? Flush and fire. Norris can back off. One of us goes in there to draw him out, and the other waits out here to shoot. I will go in. Shot. Thank you, Miriam. Hello, sir. Would you like a draft of ale, some bread and cheese? Connor, this here is Oliver, and that is Corrine. Great people. Ollie, this is Connor, the man I was talking about. The Lord of a Manor. We were passing through his hall and met some of your townsfolk. They were thirsty, and we had some barrels in the back. And... I am no lord, and these are my friends, not my townsfolk. What brings you to the road with a cart full of spirits for sale? We were innkeepers until the king took our inn for some military such and such, left us out on a round pond. Hey, you should settle here. 
We could use an inn. Good idea. <laughs> we would. But without the inn itself, we don't have much choice. And building one isn't cheap. We certainly have a need for something of the sort. I will speak with my friends at the mill and see what we can do about building ourselves one. If it can be arranged, would you consider ending your search here? Of course, Arthur. We'll have an inn again. This should suffice. Thank you. You won't regret this, Connor. We promise. Delicious, love. Connor! What brings you? I was passing by, and I thought I would stop in and see how you were faring. Well, that's nice of you. Well, my boy, we are faring very well. Between those who live here, the sailors coming and going from the pier, not to mention the travelers, our beds are always full and our taps are always flowing. I am pleased things have worked out for you here. As are we, Connor. I'd be lying if I told you we weren't worried when we were ousted from our old place. For the Lord works in mysterious ways. Gentlemen, you seem to be getting along. Oh, aye. We're just on our way to have an ale. <laughs> you might have noticed. I've got a bit of a temper problem. <laughs> oh, Diana's fine. The spuds are fine. They've got a good thing going on here. I'm just happy I didn't hurt old Godfrey. Wouldn't they have been able to forgive myself? So am I, Terry. So grateful you didn't poke me with your tiny fists. Do they rile me up? All right, all right, take it easy. I am happy things are well again. Connor, come with me downstairs. Should I search for something to fill that space? No rush. Eventually the right piece will present itself. As you wish. There's a chest in a cave on the edge of the property. Could you retrieve it for me? I would go myself, but these old bones prevent me from getting to it. Take uh, Norris with you. The cave entrance is blocked with heavy stone. 
and will need to be cleared one way or another. I'm going to fetch something for the old man, and he told me there might be some stone that requires clearing. Yeah? I will bring my explosive. Yeriam is interesting. Certainly not your typical colonial woman. A deadly shot. She brought down that cougar. She is strong, capable. She has no husband? Not that I'm aware of. I never met a woman like her before. I would like to know her better. You should speak to her then. I might try. Hey, don't splash. Don't want to get the powder wet. Do you think she likes Frenchmen? I see why he encouraged me to enlist your services. But problem. We blew it up. Be my guest. Duck and cover!
Ja, Oma. I have what you asked for. I must know who put it there and for what purpose. I did. I put it somewhere I knew only I could reach. But that was a long time ago. Who does that belong to? These were the rogues of the first assassin to come to the colonies. 